Hi, welcome to In Two Minutes. We've got an interesting product for you guys today. It's a patchouli oil, but it's molecularly distilled. Now, Pierre, what's what's the difference Mo between molecularly, molecularly distilled? Molecularly distilled. <laughs> molecularly distilled. That's molecular distilled. Molecular distilled. Molecular distilled. <laughs> it's like nuclear or nuclear? Molecular. Molecular. Molecular distilled. Okay. Um, so what's special about a standard patchouli oil and a molecular distilled patchouli oil? Uh, well, patchouli oil is, I mean, first and foremost, it's a classic in perfumery. Uh, it's used in uh, uh, a million oriental, uh, fougere, sheep accords, and, and more. Um, this being said, uh, straight up patchouli oil has a little problem it's like super dark it's like brown in in color uh, and not every application uh, lends itself to a dark colored product like that and certainly not uh, a, a fine fragrance typically fine fragrance perfumers prefer uh, clear colored uh, uh, ingredients um, and other applications may have that color sensitivity as well Mm -hmm. um, so we came up with this process uh, of uh, uh, essentially removing these uh, these compounds that contribute to that dark brown color of, of uh, uh, a traditional patchouli oil. Um, those compounds are very heavy by nature. They are very resinous. These are heavy molecules. And the way that we can separate them from, from the oil um, is by dropping them on a film that essentially, that if, so we take the, the, the patchouli oil dark, that, that brown uh, uh, oil, allow it to drip down through a film uh, uh, that on the vacuum and at the right temperature allows the oil to, to evaporate. And this flash redistillation, for the lack of a better word, this molecular distillation, mm -hmm. Uh, happens at such a speed that the lighter compounds will evaporate, but the heavier resinous compounds will not and will stay behind. So in, in a molecular distiller steel, at the end of the day, you manage to separate the dark resinous stuff that stays at the bottom from the good stuff that, that is extracted. Which is what we And I here. say we, we smell it. The result is, well, a colorless product. Coming from a starting material that is dark brown, that's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. You can barely see it. The end result um, for this particular uh, material is that uh, the patchouli oil um, is uh, very clean. Um, it is enriched in uh, uh, patchouli content. Um, so the, the product has all of its classic uh, patchouli character. Yeah, still warm uh, and sweet. Warm, sweet, sometimes even, even syrupy. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, obviously earthy. Yeah, I love that kind of wet earth. It, exactly. Uh, 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 woody. And then when you start going into the nitpicking, uh, 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 it has some, some floral edges, some, yeah. some green edges. And the one thing um, you pointed out is a little bit of the geranium sort of notes yes, in the back. Yes, yes. And I'm not necessarily referring to geranium oil. Mm -hmm. I'm referring to the geranium plant that has that, that green woody uh, uh, character to the, to the flower itself. Um, so yeah, it's a super, you know, it's, it's an amazing product. It's a staple in perfumery. The molecular distilled is a staple in fine perfumery. Um, and, you know, I could smell it all day and, yeah. and, and, and wear it as is, literally. <laughs> well, if you'd like to smell it yourself, you can request a sample on our website. But wait, we have a two hour old one. Yeah. My turn? Your turn. Okay. So how has it evolved? Do you need, do you need the, uh, the fresh to compare? Let me, let me compare here, yeah. It's 
still has a bit of that sort of moist earth that I like. But yeah, a lot of it has actually evaporated out. Yeah, and you know, not a surprise, you know, the, the key uh, compound uh, uh, that uh, defines uh, the quality of a patchouli, it's its patchouli content, it's an alcohol. And you know, being an alcohol, it's a fairly light molecule, it does, it does evaporate uh, 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 at, a, at a faster rate than, than some, some much larger molecules, mm -hmm. um, which explains why you are observing this, uh, this, this difference between a two, two hour old blotter and a, uh, a fresh deep blotter. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys like that uh, quick evaluation session and quick explanation on, on the molecular distill process. So how do you say it again? Molecular distill. There you go. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.